Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Boundary. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Very glad to have you. If you're returning, thank you for your continued support. Really appreciate it. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Let's see what messages we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? What messages and guidance? We start off your reading today, Pisces, with the Two of Pentacles. One, something up in the air and something decided already is what I'm hearing. So you may be going back and forth about a decision or needing to balance. But I am feeling, I'm also hearing as above, so below. So balancing out, usually the Two of Pentacles doesn't necessarily refer to as above, so below. But in this particular card, I am getting that what you call from a three call from 5d into 3d will have a way of balancing out and connecting it's just a matter of time if you look at this um, image here it's almost as though it's an hourglass so time shifting of sands waiting for divine timing to come into effect but i am feeling the energy here Pentacles are about tangible, taste it, touch it, feel it, about something coming from the 5D into the 3D that you may have been waiting on. Let's see what other messages we get for you. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces? Thank you. Then the next message we have is the Ace of Swords. This is a victory. This is communication, success, clarity, truth. I'm hearing that somebody may also be speaking their truth to you, or you may be receiving a message you have been waiting for. Some of you, this is going to be also an energetic release as well. Maybe doing some cord cutting, some energetic clearing. What other messages for Pisces, please? What other messages for Pisces? Thank you. We have quite a few things here, Pisces. Let's just take them bit by bit so here the next card we have is the empress so you are coming into the energy being in the energy of flow of abundance of creativity of allowing things to come towards you not chasing not chasing pisces so you are patiently waiting for what is meant for you to come to you knowing that things will in divine timing knowing that in divine timing you will have victory and clarity and sight and things are going to align. The star is going to shine upon you with wisdom, with fertility, with birth, with abundance. Then the next card we have, Pisces, is death. So there is a transformation here. But within this particular card, we see you rising up from the ashes of something that has occurred as the phoenix. There is a rebirth here, Pisces. So it's, it's not necessarily about... I'm okay. I'm being interrupted. It's a regeneration of cycles, regeneration, rebirth is it's not a death. It's not an ending. It's a regeneration is what we're seeing here. Um, even when you give birth to something new, a phase or cycle has to end in order to physically give birth to a new creation. For example, if you're an artist, you have a blank canvas. You if you use a canvas, you start off with a blank canvas. As soon as you touch a um, an instrument with paint to the canvas, the canvas is forever changed. So this phase state and phase of that canvas has now permanently been transformed. So it can be something as simple as that. Um, but spirit is showing it's not necessarily that something's going to be ending in your life, but something is transforming and being regenerated. The next card we have is the world. Something is coming full circle. Something is coming to completion, but moreover, something is again being born. If we look into both of these cards, we have circling energy. So you are being enveloped. You are being encloaked. You are being encased in a new beginning in something that you are going to have beauty from there is going to be beauty from these ashes here within the world we have the figure holding onto the world very lovingly with the all the el elements of evolution and 
fertility, the eggs, the moths, the turtles. This is about evolution. This is, I'm hearing Darwinism. So some of you might even be components or advocates of Darwinism, of the evolution of the species, of allowing the evolution and the regeneration to occur on a natural cadence. Um, I'm also seeing here for the moon that things may not be known to you. The path ahead, the next steps may not be 100% known to you, but you have been through the darkness so you can know the light. You have been through the darkness so it gives you the wisdom to see the light in a wiser perspective and and here we have the elements of darkness with the crows and the the lobster crayfish coming out the evolution from water onto land so we have that your next steps may not be entirely known but they're already crafted for you <clears throat> then we have the seven of pentacles the card of time passing by but when time is passing by, it's because the seeds are growing, that your heart is in the work, you've been very focused, you've been very loving, you've been very kind and nurturing to what you're giving birth to. Remember here, Pisces, we were saying in the Two of Pentacles that this is about transforming from the 5D into the 3D, bringing down what is already yours into your reality. And this is what we're seeing is harvest time of bringing into fruition, <clears throat> pardon me guys, bringing into fruition what you've already set into motion. And with the Empress energy, we see that the abundance, the clarity, the sowing of the seeds is set into motion. So let's go ahead and clarify this message for you. Spirit, what is this two of pentacles for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this two of pentacles? And we have the five of wands. So there may have been some chaos or drama or change. Um, the two of pentacles can be an unstable, um, I'm hearing undulating energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm seeing phase changes. What else is this two of pentacles for Pisces, please? <clears throat> What else does Pisces need to know about this Two of Pentacles, please? Anything else for this Two of Pentacles? Hold on, guys. Anything else for this Two of Pentacles for Pisces? I'm not feeling anything else. Here we go. All right, one more card. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we are seeing Pisces, emotional choices. The Two of... Ooh, fudge. The Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Wands and the Two of Cups. You may have had some drama or difficulty or challenges within a love union or within a contract or partnership. This is also showing that the emotional choices that you're making may have been bringing some chaos or change and interference into this transformative process of bringing things from the 5D into the 3D. So please do be mindful of that. What is this Ace of Swords? But the Ace of Swords is the clarity coming through to help calm this disruption or calm the unsteady energy to allow the flow to be realigned. What is this Ace of Swords? What does Pisces need to thank you? And we have the Hangman. So this is releasing yourself, cutting yourself free from a difficult position, a difficult circumstances, both the Hangman with the halo enlightenment and the ace of swords with the enlightenment are about clarity, seeing things from a new perspective, having um, divine insight, <clears throat> pardon me, as well. So we are seeing that you will be released from something that may have been challenging you or putting you in a precarious position. What is this hangman, please? What does Pisces need to know about this hangman, please? I'm also, <clears throat> pardon me, please. I'm also hearing that a period of waiting may be over here with this hangman. You'll be, you're going to receive some news that will end the waiting. What is this hangman? Thank you. And the seven of cups. So you'll have, um, you'll have an opportunity to re-envision a future for yourself, to see things from a different perspective. Um, seven of cups, be cautious that, uh, no, a spirit's correcting me. So, you may, prior to going into this hangman mode, been having fragmented energy, fragmented thinking, fantasy thinking, not really being 
focused on the truth or reality of a situation, but the Ace of Swords is coming in to set things correctly, to clear out any illusions, delusions, fragmentations. What is this Empress for Pisces, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about this Empress? What does Pisces need to know? Thank you. And for this Empress, we are having the Wheel of Fortune, so it's time to move forward. Wherever you were, Pisces, it's now time to move forward into a, a much better, much happier, much po more positive chapter. These are po major arcanas. This is happening on a universal grand scale. You're giving birth to something new. What is this Wheel of Fortune for Pisces, please? What is this Wheel of Fortune for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you. In the Wheel of Fortune, we have the lovers. So this could very well usher in a chapter of love for some of you for others of you this is divine protection divine alignment you will be moving forward making a choice to transform to regenerate so you're coming out of a place where you may have been stuck in a hardship in a difficulty in the in mid mid manifestation what is this death card for pisces i'm hearing death card is scorpio as well so something transformative may occur for you. You may have a change or a new beginning in Scorpio season. What is this death card for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? I'm also hearing some of you may be dealing, some of you may have Scorpio heavily placed in your chart. Um, I, I'm also hearing some of you may be dealing with somebody who has Scorpio heavily placed in their chart. What is this death, please? And for this death, we are having the five of swords. So this is the end of resistance, Pisces. This is you rising up, walking away from engaging in battles that are futile. Let's clarify this five of swords. What is this five of swords? You're choosing, you're no longer choosing heartache. In the past, there could have been circumstances where you chose to engage in situations that <clears throat> were disheartening for you. What is this five of swords for Pisces? <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. Let me get a drink. <clears throat> we're, we're recovering, but I feel so much better, but the, the voice is still being froggy sometimes. So thank you so much for your patience and your blessings, guys. I really, it means the world to me. What is this five of swords, please? Thank you. And we have the sun. So this is definitely a clearing out. If we see the, the high contrast on the death card, from darkness into light, from ashes into beauty, from being down to being right, to rising up from the phoenix, from being in a resistant situation to coming into the light, cleansing, renewal, a sense of youthfulness, a sense of vitality, a sense of good health. So we are seeing that there is a turnaround, a turn about. What is this world card for Pisces? What is this world card for, thank you. And we have the emperor. What else do we need to know about this world card? Thank you, two more cards. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles coming out again. So it could be, you could be deciding regarding a new job, a commitment, or something having to do with family here, Pisces. We'll clarify these. But the Emperor's Aries energy is also somebody who could be domineering and controlling and want to have something stable. But for some reason, we're seeing that there's a degree of uncertainty entering in again with the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles here asks, clarified by the two of cups maybe for some of you maybe you have tried to be in union with somebody before and it didn't quite work out because of difficult circumstances so now it seems as though a new gateway is opening up to maybe re-enter a commitment again for others of you this could be about a job or finances what is this emperor for pisces what and for the emperor, we have the queen of pentacles. So I, I do feel this is about your finances. This is about commitment. This is about security and stability. This is very nurturing energy. And what is this ten of pentacles? What does Pisces need to know about this ten of pentacles for Pisces? Queen of pentacles is feminine earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you may have heavy earth in your chart as well. And then we have the magician wanting to manifest the world. Like literally... Literally wanting to manifest the world together, the world in finances, career, relationships, love, stability, security. You, We are seeing you overcoming something very challenging. And right here is overcoming something very challenging that put you in an uncomfortable position. What is this two of pentacles? What is this two of pentacles for Pisces, please, spirit? 
and wow, we have the Ace of Cups. The pe so here, this is what the, this is why we have the Two of Pentacles here, Pisces, coming from a place where the focus was on overcoming the darkness. There is a tragedy that you have just come through, some difficulty, some betrayal, and now balancing yourself out, learning that the Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords, is now transmuted into the Ace of Swords. You can cut this away. There's information coming. There's clarity coming. There's a shift at hand that's releasing you from this Ten of Swords. Remember how here we said there's some type of resistance in between this Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, that's making it difficult. And here we see the Ten of Swords entering into the picture to show that there's a de desire to close this energy out and to move forward, but to move forward with what? An emotional cleansing, a new love, an answered prayer, a divine blessing. So we are seeing here, Pisces, that this world card is the desire to move from what was into what is and what will be. Moving away from any past trauma, moving away from any past pain, releasing it, allowing it to be transmuted so you can cleanse it, release it, and move forward towards abundance. <clears throat> and creativity and commitment and love and purity what is this moon for pisces what is thank you and we have the seven of cups coming out for the second time so this is definitely see, showing pisces that you may not see all the steps ahead you may not i seven is the number of having faith and metaphysics so this is going to be trust where you are being led here with the moon we see the energy of the subconscious of the intuition you have a lot of options before you, Pisces. Let's see what else we get for this moon. What else do we need to know for this moon? What else do we need to know for this moon, please, Spirit? Thank you. And we have the Seven of Swords. So we have another seven. This is about you may be feeling very concerned about where you're being led because of where you have been in the past. You want to make sure that you're not taking a cup that's going to be deceitful or deceptive. Let's clarify these two. <clears throat> what is this? And I'm hearing walk by faith, not by sight. Um, this has been coming up quite a bit in the readings lately. What is the seven of cups, please? And for the seven of cups, Pisces, we are having the ace of wands. So there is a new beginning. The new beginning that's before you may not be what you think it is going to be. It may, it's, may not be one of these cups, but it's a big, fat, juicy wand. Um, a big new opportunity. Now, this could be a new business opportunity. You could have also been applying for new jobs as well. And there is an opportunity coming through. What is the Seven of Swords, please? What does Pisces need to know about the Seven of Swords? So we have the Seven of Cups, Swords, and Pentacles here as well. So here, Pisces, for the Seven of Swords, we have time to rest. The Seven of Swords with the Four of Swords is 11. 11 swords, which reduces to the number two, which is the two of swords, which means in order to move towards a place of peace, you will need to utilize your logical mind and come to a place of peace in order to overcome what has happened in the past, to have your healing, to move forward. This is about you moving forward and not staying stuck in a repeating pattern. <clears throat> what is the seven of pentacles for Pisces? What does Pisces need to thank you? And for the Seven of Pentacles, we are having the Knight of Wands. This is change. You may have been waiting for a season. You may have been waiting for your harvest. Your heart has been dedicated to what you have wanted to bring into your reality. And now we see the change is coming. You've been very determined. You've been very tenacious. You've done everything you can within your power. And this is also a call to just some of you, not all of you. And this will resonate with your spirit as truth. There may be some of you who know there are some things that you need to do that you have been putting off. This is a call for you to follow your truth and move forward in the direction of what you need to take care of. Let's see what this Knight of Wands is. What is this Knight of Wands for Pisces, please, spirit? This is also moving forward in a very determined and passionate way. Yeah, like this is moving forward. 
you for a while and you may have been backward looking saying I've done all this work my heart is in the work I've been very dedicated why why is why are things not transpiring but here we see the changes upon you because you've learned the lesson you've come to a place of assimilating of reckoning of rising up from the ashes within the hermit's lantern carries the star the star is the healing and energy it's the realignment after you've gone through the experiences and now you've passed the test so the hermit is carrying basically the a plus star award for having passed the test and this is what we see here pisces is you going through a process of difficulty of but learning how to stand tall in this particular situation and overcome adversity overcome pain overcome unstable energy to have the clarity to have the transformation to have the transmutation and even though you don't necessarily see the next steps in front of you you're having faith you're having wisdom you're walking by faith not by sight and this is allowing you to move forward into healing instead of staying in the energy of heartache. Spirit, one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces. One card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. Thank you. And we have two cards here. The first one is power. So reclaim your power. Know your power. Eight is also the number of karma. So we see that things are going to be working out. Things are going to be balancing. We have somebody on this side who looks as though they've been through life, ha may have gathered wisdom. But here on this side, we have the lion, very courageous, very strong. So as you've gone through this experience, you've definitely become more strong, but you've also become more wise. And we have deception and envy. I'm going to get another deck and clarify this deception and envy to see what's going on because we do have the seven of swords twice. Spirit, why do we have the seven of swords, deception and envy here? Why is this deception and envy here, please? This is you also taking the blinders off in a situation. Yes, absolutely. So Pisces, we are having a repeating energy here. There was a situation where you were deceived, where you had somebody who may have been deceiving you or envious of you that was all too happy to take every single sword they could possibly find and put them in your back. And this is having significant, I need to restate this, this has had significant impacts on your soul's journey and your experiences but what spirit is saying is the time has come pisces to now move forward to step away from this energy to release it so you can move forward into what is better for you into a new beginning to transform to turn your beauty into ashes and to rise up like the phoenix spirit one oracle for pisces for this reading one oracle for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit. One oracle for Pisces for this. Thank you. Oops, oops. There we go. And here, Pisces, we are getting coming of winter. It comes in lullabies deep within your mirrored flesh. Alas, it is time to lay your quivering chest upon the winter's coming. It's a time for rest, Pisces. And this is also the number 11, number of mastery, master number 11. So this is definitely a time to come to terms with what you have been through, but not only to come to terms, but to come to a place of rest. You have been through difficulty, you have been through pain, but there is rest. This is a time to recover, to rise up into a new beginning. You have been through enough and it's time to stop putting yourself through it over and over again. Let's get one Oracle, please. One Oracle for Pisces for this reading. What does Pisces need to know? And we have adversity. Now, this is, you know, a beautiful card for this reading because it's showing Pisces that you have been through great amounts of adversity. Some of you also may want to have marshmallow tea. Marshmallow is a root. It might help with, I, I'm hearing immune system, but I'm not an herbologist. So if somebody knows about marshmallow root, you might want to put it in the comments. Um, but here, definitely overcoming adversity and rising up Again, I'm hearing Pisces rising up from the ashes. Remember who you are. Remember why you came. 
into this incarnation. Remember the power, the beauty, the remember who you are, that you are a child of the divine. Spirit, one lucky oracle for Pisces, then we'll close it out. One lucky oracle for Pisces, then we'll close it out, please. And again, thank you for your patience with me as I've been going through froggy voice. Um, you will hear of a marriage sh shortly, a call from a loved one, a kiss, guard against losses in the future, a change for the best. So we are definitely seeing the energies of change occurring in this reading. You will be more prosperous in the near future. So we do see a turnabout coming. It could be financially, it could be in a job, it could be in relationships, but a change is coming. You have you have weathered the storm, you have weathered the winter, you have stood and be and faced great adversity, and now it's time to move forward into a different season. A stranger who will turn into a good friend, and you worry over small matters. So whatever I'm hearing, this too shall pass. So walk by faith, not by sight. This too shall pass. If you have a yes or no question for today, Pisces, the answer is yes. And the lucky number is 654, which reduces to the number 15, which reduces to the number 6. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.